Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the fifth PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about working with tables. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert a new slide here. And the easiest way to do that is Control M is a, certainly one of the ways. So there's a couple different options here. If you go into Insert, uh, actually if you start here you'll notice you know by default a lot of these template pages include an option to insert a table and it'll come up and it'll give you an option you know number of columns and number of rows and there's a simple table I'm gonna highlight that one and delete it I'm gonna delete everything pre-formatted on this page and show you if you go under insert and you go to table you have a couple different options you have the insert table option which we just did I'm gonna hit cancel you have the insert uh, you could draw a table which I'll cover in a later tutorial if you wanted to do something a little bit more customized and you can insert an Excel spreadsheet uh, which I'll cover in a later um, tutorial also so what we're gonna do is just create a little table here we're gonna do uh, we'll do five columns by three rows and there you have a basic table and what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean it up a little bit here so the first thing you'll notice under table tools I'm defaulted over to the design tab now under table tools I'm gonna go to layout and first thing that I want to do is I want to put a title up here right but I, but I'm not gonna put a title right here because it's not gonna look very good right it's not gonna look centered or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just leave that there for now. I'm going to highlight the whole row with my mouse by holding, the, clicking in the either rightmost or leftmost um, uh, call or um, cell, and then hold down the mouse and drag it, and highlight it. Then go to merge cells, and then you see what happens. It gets rid of the um, the columns or the uh, I'm sorry, the uh, yeah, actually the columns. I'm sorry. So then over here, uh, what? in this um, now I have one big cell here now I can go here and click on center the text and now I have a nice title um, column a nice title there up at the top in the center so I'll go over here and I'll put in um, I guess let's put in Q1 sorry I'm gonna click here Q1 and I go down here and I say Q2 and then I and uh, I didn't do such good planning here so what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight right here and I'm going to go under table tools again I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go ahead and click insert below and you see what will happen it will insert a row below it uh, likewise if I clicked here I could say insert right alright but I'm going to go ahead and undo that and let's just go ahead and type in Q3 and then Q4 here and I'm just going to make up numbers here 100, 20, 10, 100, 100 and so now um, what I want to do here is a couple different things I want to maybe clean this thing up a little bit so it looks a little bit uh, actually I want to adjust the size or let me um, change the font so I can highlight the, all the cells here or highlight individual cells and then I can go and I can right click and I'll get the pop up or I could go to um, font over here um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and increase the font a couple times okay, to make it a little bit larger likewise I could highlight it and reduce it or whatever I could change the color of the font. You can work with your font as you normally would. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take these. I want to take the cells and I want to make them. I'm going to go to the layout tab and I'm going to make them. Uh, let's see. I want to go to row height, which is under. Where is that? I am going to go. Where is row height at? Let's see here. this is row height okay so that's changing that um, that's your cell size and then this one would shrink it that way okay so that's how you would edit the size of those cells uh, let's see what else I want to share with you here so now I go back to the design tab and let's say I want to put a border around my cell I can do that by clicking here 
and I can choose no borders, all borders, outside borders. So I'm going to go ahead and choose outside borders. And then I am going to choose the the color of the border over here. I can choose the thickness of the border or this type of the border and this is a solid line or I could do hyphenated line. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to change it to a large border and then I'm going to change it to using the pen color to red. Okay and then if you notice when I click off you'll see it like that and then I can in presentation mode it has a nice clean border around it. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. And now uh, I'm going to go back to the table. I'm going to go back to design. And a couple other things I want to share with you is over here. Actually, let me expand this a little bit. Let me do this. Oh. This. It's missing some of the titles because I, I have the screen compressed a little bit. Okay, so let me go back to that one more time. Now I'm going to highlight this, highlight the uh, the table, go back to design, and I can go to table styles, and I have all these options here. For example, you know, you've got a whole variety. So I'm just going to change it for a moment to red like that. Okay, so I can change it back. I can do any number of things to it. So I'm going to change it back to the default. And then another thing I can do here under design and tables is I can go to the effects and I can do lots of different things to this. Like I can put a shadow on it, I can do a reflection, I can do, um, let me see, beveled edges, you know, to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so you see there's lots and lots of options here. I'll let you experiment with it quite a bit. There's a way to make it. Um, change the texture, change, let, let's go ahead and change change this to be a little eh, a little darker let's say. Okay and there's okay so you can clean it up, you can make it nice and clean. If you want to do something custom uh, you can certainly draw your own table and I'll come back with another tutorial and show you how to uh, insert and work with Excel tables. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care.